Over the weekend, uh, we saw a lot of things that happened at CPAC and AFPAC and all of these conferences for conservatives where they say insane things from the stage. But what we didn't see yet until our very own Rebel HQ uh, correspondent, if you will, uh, David Schuster took to the floor and spoke to some of the participants, some of the audience members at CPAC. Let's watch this. If Putin came over here, I would probably join his forces and take out these rhinos that we have and the corrupt government. Steve Bannon said we should support Putin because he's anti-woke. Putin ain't woke. He is anti-woke. The Russians, people still know which bathroom to use. Really? Well, I guess he doesn't put up with wokeism in his country. And I don't know if we should put up with it ours. Well, just like Tucker Carlson said and President Trump said, that Putin is a, is a genius, and he is a genius. He's playing the rest of the world um, chess where Biden is playing checkers. The war in Ukraine could have been avoided with uh, having our own oil independence. And so you think, you think there's more that uh, you think if we had been independent in terms of energy, the war in Ukraine would not have happened? I'm not going to say that. Could have been avoided with... Uh, having our own oil independence. And what would Trump have done differently in your estimation? I don't know. What about all those conservatives, Republicans who say, you know, we should support Vladimir Putin, like Steve Bannon, like Donald Trump? Uh, personally, I disagree strongly with that. It's Donald Trump, Mike Pompeo, they're wrong on that. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All I've said is I love my favorite person was the lady with the oil uh, independence. Now we didn't make sure we get off of foreign oil or else this war wouldn't have happened. Then she changed her mind or she didn't know what she said. But bless her little heart, you know what I mean? You rarely see people at these events sort of like show any sort of self doubt because that's seen as weakness. So she's like, well, now that you said my words back to me, I don't know if I would put it exactly that way. Oh, I just did. Yeah, it's not actually coffee in this coffee cup. Like, <laughs> I, you know, I I liked her out of all of them. If I'm, we're picking faves, which obviously we are, yes. but it it is it is painful. And ridiculous. I mean, somewhere James Bond, all of the Bonds are just like, oh, you know, like Sean Connery is like, how dare that? You know, like there's a, there's a, that's not the best Sean Connery I've got. <laughs> but like, it is incredible to see, you know, however many years after the Cold War that we've done a complete 180 and the far right is actually championing what in any, like on a, any other given day, they're just gonna call communism, depending on whether they like it or not, right? Um, We've seen so, talking about dictatorships, and if there's ever gonna be a dictator, I want it to be Donald Trump. We've seen that famous clip there from people like that. And when they get around a bunch of folks that rouse each of them up, then they're in this 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 fever pitch where they're ready to say all these things and believe these sound bites of things that politicians and pundits have told them. So by the way, that's only just a little snippet of it, Francesca. Because a lot more of it, by the way, you guys as well. There's a lot more that Schuster put up on Rebel HQ, the YouTube channel. These are just parts. I do want to get to the second part though, where he was sitting next to the merch section, talked about some of the things that they were selling. Let's check that out as well. Ride the red wave, $30. Ride the red wave means get on the conservative train. So a wave that leaves a mark. Yes, a mark of conservatism. A mark that leaves a stain. Kind of, yes. Red stain, so a very like special like time of the month. Yes, a gun purse. A gun purse, what does that do? Oh, it's just for show, for fashion. It's making a statement. What's the statement? The right to bear arms. So you can put a gun in there. No. What does conservative fragrance smell like? Um, confidence, apparently. I thought a conservative fragrance would be a limited fragrance. No, I think conservative fragrance would be a luxury fragrance. You know, high-end luxury. Not for the working people. <laughs> Tell me about their cause. What are the truckers trying to do? Well, I mean, it was a it was a very peaceful rally in Ottawa, Canada. It wasn't so peaceful in some of the other places, though. No. Well, they rose up against tyranny also. Defending freedom, they rose up and... Uh, Taking the streets. Absolutely, take it to the streets and... Uh, isn't, that, uh, isn't that what uh, Black Lives Matter also did? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how that works sometimes. Uh, and I think this gets to another big portion of the event was get there, sell your random merch. 
I get the feeling that 35, 40% of the folks selling that stuff, making money off it, doesn't believe any of it anyway. No. It's a nice opportunity. No, it's the equivalent of like when I was in New York for like the 2007 blackout, how there was like, I survived the 2007 blackout within like four hours of the blackout. Yes. Those t shirts, like, how did you guys have power? Like, that's the level of grift, you know, that like <laughs> they do at CPAC. I really love Schuster. Can we just all agree that he's crushing it out there? Like, and it's a different tack than like Emma, who's so good. Um, Emma Viglin yeah. just letting, letting like the conservatives sort of like tie the noose around their own neck and kind of like, you know, basically, Ruin themselves, where Schuster's kind of pushing back in a really fun way. Um, I don't know, I love it. I uh, feel like they kind of know it too. They can see the, you know, they can see the interjections happening, and yeah. you wonder, should I be doing this interview still? Yeah. <laughs> Triangle fragrance, Jr. Mm. Triangle. It's oh yeah, tie scene. end. Why is it Louis Vuitton here? Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should. I, I, they, they may buy. Who knows? Um, so again, you guys, the rest of these, there's a lot more that, that uh, David put up there on the Rebel HQ YouTube channel. There's multiple videos there. Uh, go and have some fun. Comment on it. See what you like. Tell us your favorite.